Hey, Jay here. I'm having a very weird problem with my computer. One that uh, might as well take you guys along for the ride for. So, I'm shutting down my computer right now. And my computer apparently wants to decide it doesn't want to be shut down. So, Cause as it turns off, takes a minute. It turns right back on again. <laughs> So today we're gonna hopefully fix that problem and show you guys things that you should be checking on your computer if it refuses to turn off. So I've actually been dealing with this problem for several weeks now uh, where I, the first thing I noticed was I would turn off my system, I would say shut down, close my office door, go home, come back the next day and my computer's on. And I'm like, why the hell is my computer on? Thinking one of the guys went on my computer. And then it's like, okay, whatever. And I would turn it off, leave, come back and it's on again. So I started wondering like, who the hell is messing around with my computer? And I'll demonstrate it here for you on this side where you can see the system. But I'm clicking shut down and it goes through its normal process. And I was just thinking that, I don't know, someone was turning on my computer for some reason or playing a prank on me. We've played pranks on people before. Like I've, we've done stuff where we'd like unplug Nick's keyboard or whatever, we've, we've played pranks. And I thought someone was doing that for me, but I sat around long enough where I happened to notice, oh my God, it clicked itself back on and it's doing it within one second of shutting down. So it's actually perfect that I just did that because I need to get into the BIOS. There's a few things we need to check in the BIOS first, um, <clears throat> but not just the BIOS, but I started thinking what happened around the time that this all started? What changed? Did anything change in my system? Oh, and there's one thing I want to point out. It does not do it in other parts of the building. That is the craziness of all of this. What the, I was, <laughs> I took the computer down to the lab and plugged it into our test bench area over there where I have the monitor mounted on the wall and that's intended for this type of video. And it shut down and stayed off just fine. The only major difference is the fact that my ethernet cord is plugged in here and down there we were on wireless. Now I know people are probably already screaming, Jay, wake on land, wake on land, wake on land. It's disabled. Wake on land is disabled. This is the first thing I disabled. I also uh, was making sure that having it be able to be turned on by either pressing a keyboard button or a mouse button is not enabled. I also went in and made sure that ERP was, was enabled, which is basically putting in all of the California low power uh, settings in the BIOS so that when you turn off the system, it goes into the ultimate low power mode, which would disable all of the power on over ethernet and mouse and keyboard functions anyway. And when I did that, it worked for about three days and then started again. So we're gonna start with some of the BIOS stuff. I have a sneaky feeling I might be dealing with a potential printer server that's doing this. I'll talk about why in a moment. So the very first things you'd want to check on here. Now, this is the Gigabyte um, X670 Extreme, Extreme, Extreme board. And it's a 7950X3D CPU. It has been a rock solid non-weirdness system until our first Arrow Lake system made it into this building. And then it started being weird. So I don't know if maybe there was an infection that made its way around that came with the Intel box. It's quite possible. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and just do search. And I'm gonna search here for wake. And let's see if we can find anything that shows up for Wake on LAN. So I only showed this because the Gigabyte search box is absolute hot garbage. Like nothing works. So ERP. Or the whole system locked up. I have not had any problems with this system until like all at once. So that's what's crazy about this right now. But. We're doing it live! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Let's start with, oh, platform power. That's a good place to start. So here's ERP power, or ERP enabled, right? So that says configure the ERP mode configuration. So even their notes are garbage in Gigabyte. I just wanted to show that out, or show that. So that was one of those like settings that initially was set to disabled, which means it can, it can restore, it can hold on to a, a higher power setting in idle when it's off, to kind of help with a faster boot. And so by turning on ERP or enabling it, it's supposed to fix any of that. Um, you can see right here, power loading disabled. Um, it, it just That's a dummy load. Resume by alarm, there's no alarm. Wake on LAN, as you can see, is disabled. So that makes me think, so I, the problem also started in this system around the time that I installed the printer, you know, the paper printer that Nick has been asking for forever. Well, I get the guy a printer and then my computer starts acting weird. So I thought maybe because I do have a scan to PC function where with the software that's installed on my system, 
I can scan documents right to the computer without even having to like go in and tell it to go to the computer, it would just go to the computer, which essentially is setting up a small server on the system that communicates with that printer. But it doesn't make any sense to me that that would be turning the computer back on because once the OS shuts down, that server would be down with it. So I don't think that's necessarily the problem, but it, it is, again, like I said, think about things that have changed with your system around the time that you notice the problem starting. And that's one of the things that has started. Another thing we want to find on here is like the disable, um, you know, turning on by keyboard or mouse, but believe it or not, it's quite hard to find it in this BIOS. The other thing I'm gonna do, I have a USB drive right here, is I'm going to update the BIOS on this board. Um, I have seen this before where it becomes honestly just like a weird stuck bit in the board for better lack of a better term that causes this stuff to sort of happen. And it's so intermittent, that's the thing. But the only difference between being up here and being down in the lab, being down in the lab, it was on wireless. Up here, it's on ethernet. So that's the only thing I could think of. Uh, but before we do that, Phil, why don't you go ahead and disable or pull off my ethernet so I don't have to try and squeeze around the camera. So we are now disconnected from the network and I wanna see if this changes anything. So if it does stay off, then we need to plug the ethernet back in and see, okay, is it gonna turn itself back on? If it does, then we know it's something wake on land that's broken. And that could honestly be, that could be the, the printer could be pinging out like, hey, server. It's not that kind of server though. So I don't, I'm just totally lost right now. So I'm gonna turn back on and see. So one other thing to look at too in device manager is some of the power uh, management properties for the network card itself. So Phil was mentioning that right now. He's like, maybe you should look at that before you do the BIOS. So we did, <clears throat> right click on the start button, go to device manager, go to our network adapters. I have the Marvel AQ, DN, whatever, 10 base T, right click, properties, power management, I did not click that. Wait, it was literally different. Like Phil saw five seconds ago. Phil saw five seconds ago. Allow this device to wake the computer was not checked. I just unchecked it. This is how it started. So, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power should be checked. Allow this device to wake the computer should not be checked. So, let's just see if it decides to change its setting again. Because Phil saw he was my witness. It was not checked. Let's see. If it stays off now by having that ghost setting, I don't know what else to call it, um, <laughs> whether or not it's gonna turn itself back on. I really hope the fix isn't that easy, but I kind of do for you guys, because. But it was off. But it was off then off. It was yeah. off then on then off. <laughs> So it was literally that setting. But that's the thing is, we would have never gone back to that setting and checked it because when I first opened it, so here's the thing, a normal user would look at that setting if they knew about it and be like, oh, it's off. Okay, whatever, ignore it, move on to the next possible solution. We only went back to it so I could show you where the setting was and that's when I was like, wait, why is it now checked? And then I clicked it off. So that means it's almost like the screen when it first opened up, when we went to Device Manager off camera with Phil and I, it didn't populate the actual setting. Like it didn't show the actual toggle on until I opened it up again. And then it was like, oh yeah, ooh, it's on. But that appears to have been the problem. So now I'm wondering if it's the print server like I'm thinking, theoretically I should be able to turn this back on, put that back to allow the device to wake the computer and it should turn itself back on. And the reason why it would be waking is because the printer's over there going, Hey, are you still there? <laughs> but it must be shouting it nonstop because it turns itself back on instantly. <laughs> so I, and that's, that's why I say it's important to think really hard about anything that changed around the time that your problem started. And I just happened to notice it was around the time I installed the HP software. And I, it sucks that I had to install the software because it couldn't just install basic print drivers. Like I had to actually download the driver from HP, which also included all the garbage that comes with it. Properties, power manager. Okay, it's off now. So there we go, it's back on. So there it is right there. Oh, allow only magic packet to wake the computer. So they have that setting in there now. Uh, I don't know if Phil left it in or not. We were talking about the fact that it used to be a magic packet was the requirement. 
But then they kind of undid that and made it so any sort of network activity could wake up your computer until this kind of problem started again. So now that setting is basically in there now where you can tell your computer only let magic packets. And that's something designed specifically to wake your computer up, say remote desktop clients, stuff like that. So I have turned the allow this device to wake this computer function back on. And we'll see now, does it turn itself back on? If not, then I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost at this point. It might work again for three days and start turning itself back on. Okay, so it is that setting in Windows. In this specific in instance. In this specific instance, which I still believe is the printer. Just broadcasting over the internet nonstop. Hey, server, are you there? So what I want to do next, the, the last thing I think we're going to do at this point, is I am going to see if enabling the magic packet function stops it. I don't know if that's a magic packet it's sending. I can't imagine it, sh it shouldn't be. It's something that should only be communicating with my computer. My computer's on. It should not be forcing my PC to stay on because my PC itself is not like, it's not hosting anything important, right? So if it was like, say a server, like a true server, yeah, you would want this thing staying up time constantly. Power, okay, allow only a magic packet to wake this computer. Now, I don't know if there's a magic packet interval that could be coming from the printer. I doubt it, but I guess it could be like an hour from now. It could be like, send a magic packet and then it wakes it up. I don't know. Magic packets are usually on demand though. It's usually on demand. Like, like I said, they're feel, specifically only for waking computers online. That's it. That's right. The only right. Use right. And, that. and that would be like you said, for a remote desktop client and such. So the printer's just pinging. The print, the printer's just going nuts yeah. right now, it's constantly. Like, hey, you need a scan? Hey. Hey, are you there? So, okay, the biggest takeaway from this is now you know, check not just the wake on LAN functions of your BIOS. Don't assume that because wake on LAN is disabled or ERP is enabled, that your system can't turn on via wake on LAN. We just showed you that Windows 11, at least, uh, 24H2, which is what this system is, can just say screw the BIOS settings and do what we're telling the NIC to do because it's the last thing that really communicated with it. It's the, the, the Windows environment is able to say, hey, override, we're about to shut down the system, you don't turn off. And that's exactly what was happening. And that was done through the device manager power management settings as I just showed you. Um, but the biggest takeaway here is the fact that it was not showing me the accurate setting the first time I opened it. I really wish that was on camera because from your guys' perspective, we opened it up, we're like, oh look, it says wake up, but it was not checked. And I have a witness here that saw that it was not checked. Mm -hmm. And the fact that now even the magic packet is enabled and Phil can't get it to turn on via magic packet and it even crashed the app. So there you go. Just to sort of recap, first things to check. What is the most recent thing you did with your system that changed that changed the behavior? And, and that might be hard, especially if you if you just did like a whole suite of installs. You're like, oh crap, what the hell did I just install? Start going through them one by one. Um, second of all, make sure that your wake on LAN is disabled in your BIOS and your ERP is enabled in BIOS. Then last of all, go to the Windows environment. Make sure that the device manager power profile options for your network card are as we showed on screen, where it is checked or unchecked to be able to wake that device uh, or allow that device to wake the computer. And not only that, because my system right now is really only set up to use wired, um, the wireless is active, there's no antennas though, so I don't think it would have reached our wireless anyway. Make sure your wireless devices are also set to not wake over wireless, because that is a real function as well. And you might want to check those settings more than once if they like to change themselves, like apparently mine did in today's video. I'm happy my computer is finally staying off for now. Until I, HP decides I have, to flip that switch for you. I, yeah, <laughs> that's the other thing. I don't know if the software might flip the switch. Oh, you know what? I bet you it will. I bet you it will. Let me tell you why. You just It just dawned on me. I, was, I would get a random notification that pops up. Ding! HP server non-responsive or whatever, and then it would just go away. It's like ding, bloop, and it disappears. I'm wondering if it's going, yo, the server isn't whatever, and then it's flipping that switch in some way. So... It's possible my problem is going to come back, but I'm going to head it off by uninstalling all the HP garbage anyway. So there goes the bigger argument of software these days. Which, by the way, we've been, we were actually trying to do a Microsoft 2024 video instead of this one, but guess who's stuck in Q hell and non loading stuff? 